Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I want to take this time to show you a little bit about Velixo Reports. It's a great tool to bring your financial reports from Acumatica into Excel. And the great thing about Velixo Reports is that it's an Excel add-in and you can use all of the native Excel function along with it. So if you've got uh, some conditional highlighting and such that you want to do, uh, or if you want to add spark lines like I've done on this report, you can sure do that. Now, what I want to do is show you a little tip that uh, has helped me build some really nice reports pretty quickly. And so if we start looking at some of the common Velixo report uh, functions, you'll notice that uh, they all uh, will contain some common uh, arguments inside the function. So here's, you see connection is in all three of these. That just tells you where you're getting your information out of Acumatica. Uh, here, when you're looking at account activity, here you've got your ledger and account class. Uh, here you've got branch uh, as well. <clears throat> and one of the things that sometimes happens uh, with Excel is you might use a static cell and copy those uh, formulas to make it faster to create your reports. Uh, but that makes traceability pretty difficult. So what I like to do is create a parameters page so that I have each one of the arguments that are going to remain static in my uh, report in one place. And so this way, if I'm going to use the same report and I want to use it for my actual or my budget, or if I have multiple companies that I want to present the same report for, then all I have to do is go in and change my connection information, brings in a new company, change my ledger information, and that'll bring in the different ledger. So the way that I do this is you'll notice here, I've got Acumatica Manufacturing, and that happens to be the connection that I've set up. So you'll see I've used Excel in the name box and called it connection name. And I've done the same thing here with my ledger. So here's my ledger name and I've done it for my current period. And so I've got some basic parameters set up there. And so now, if you'll look at this trial balance that I created, so here I use my connection name in the function, and I'm referencing that cell on my parameters page, same with my ledger name. Now here with my it's looking for my account, you can see, so I'm referencing B5, but notice I've made my row static. So that means that I can use the same formula in the multiple columns. And so here, if I wanna have, uh, so if we look at the one for the next column, which is 2016, it's gonna look exactly the same. It's gonna say connection name, ledger name, B5, and it's going to say D, or it's going to say F4, because here row four is constant. And so here we go is F4. And so what this allows you to do is you set the formula once, and all you do is, you know, use double click to copy down. You can drag it across, and you can create your entire report pretty quickly by using those named ranges. So again, all you do is set up your parameters that are going to be constant inside your report, give them a named range in Excel, and then just go through. And anytime that you see the connection or the ledger or the branch maybe, then what you can do is reference that, uh, that cell, that parameter cell you've created with the named range. And you can make your reports a lot faster and a lot easier to trace. So hope that uh, is a value to you. We'll be looking at uh, some more Velixo reports functionality later, but it's a great tool. It's a good start, uh, an introduction for you. So we'll be talking to you later.